I've been working in social services for the last 18 years. And if there's one thing I've learned is that the key to addressing poverty is to increase employment. The sad truth is that low-income Americans are struggling now. Poverty rates have risen, labor force participant rates have dropped, even median incomes have stalled out. In order to get our country going again, we need to reestablish a ladder of success for low-income Americans. The 1996 Welfare Reform Act required work as a condition of assistance, and that led to unprecedented improvements in work rates for never-married single mothers. It also led to a significant drop in child poverty. But unfortunately, many of our other social services programs don't require work as a condition of assistance. And that's a problem. But we can't just require work. We also have to reward it. Wages for low-skilled workers don't always go far enough to support a family. That's why policies like the Earned Income Tax Credit or public health insurance or even food stamp benefits are helpful as supports for working people. The last time we had a sustained year-over-year -year decline in child poverty in America were in the years after welfare reform in 1996. And at that time we had policies that required work in return for public assistance, rewarded work for low-wage workers, and also had strong economy producing jobs for struggling Americans. That's what we need in America now. That's what we've lost. And we need to get back there.